Everyone wants to live an inspired life, yet so many people search for happiness following the footsteps of peers and taking advice from people who have different values and outcomes to which they're searching. There are people born into wealth, graduated from the best universities in the world, and there are people who have none of that and yet are living extraordinary lives full of fulfillment and reward. The purpose of this podcast is to share insights and strategies that allow you to question the status quo and think freely, so you can design your life and be who you want to be. We get one life. Time is our most valuable asset. I believe that when we're free and able to focus on meaningful work, we become better human beings. This is Always Free, and I'm your host, Jason Greystone. Welcome to the leading podcast for financial empowerment and wealth creation. Subscribe to this podcast so you don't miss an episode. You can connect with Jason on social media and subscribe to the Jason Greystone YouTube channel for weekly videos. Don't forget to also subscribe to the weekly newsletter to receive frequent educational content and action steps to help you design your life so you can be who you want to be. For news on all future events and updates, go to jasongreystone.com. Well, 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 welcome back to the podcast, guys. Hopefully you've had a nice week so far. If this is the first time you're listening to this podcast, welcome. This is the number one podcast for financial empowerment and wealth creation. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, Lots of people have this kind of idea that being wealthy and being financially free and living an abundant life is all about hustling and making millions and millions of pounds and really... That's got very, very little to do with how you spend the time on earth and how you can really live an extraordinary life full of fulfillment and reward. And if you go back to episode one, if this is the first episode you've listened to, start there and you'll start to understand (laughs) the real meaning of freedom and happiness. And happiness is the subject that I want to talk about in this particular podcast because when it comes to financial freedom and wealth building and, uh, and you know, build, building a life on your terms, lots of people contact me on a, on a daily basis to say, look, I just want to be happy. You know, I'm just chasing, like, I just really just want to be happy. And of course, we want to be happy. But there seems to be this kind of misconception of what that actually looks like because you know people I I got a message just yesterday from a guy saying that he'd been scammed Um, unfortunately there's a lot of scammers on on Instagram and Facebook trying to scam people out of money and he was basically saying he had spent five thousand dollars and he was literally on the verge of of telling me he was going to go and kill himself now you know I, I kind of talked him round and said, look, your life's worth uh, more than $5,000. See, this is a lesson. See, this is uh, something that's happened on the way. And imagine how much this is, really try and see how much this has actually saved you in the long run, you know, in terms of knowledge and how you're not going to let that uh, happen to you again. And and then go and report the thing and try and get your money back and kind of turn around. But after a conversation, he was kind of saying, I just want to be happy. And as I say, there's this kind of buzzword on social media at the moment where everyone is going happiness, you know, kind of one-sided towards happiness and this pursuit of happiness, and that's all they seem to want to be. And, of course, everyone wants to be happy in life, um, but everyone's saying that the goal is happiness. You know, they're they're, going to get to this place uh, is unrealistic. And I want to explain how... I think most people think of happiness the wrong way and and why that could result in you being unhappy Uh, because I don't think that that's the end game. So for instance, if you had a conversation with someone, I think you could agree that if you were to ask them uh, you know what they want, and they, they would come back with an answer like, I just want to be happy most of the time, okay? Because obviously they get that there's some times that you're not going to be happy and then you say well okay well if if you're happy most of the time that would be 51% right so 51% of the day you're happy but then what about the other 49% right 51% of the time you've got all the emotions that make you happy but then those feelings are gone and then 49% of the day you're unhappy then what and they'll then say well okay I want to be happy all the time then Uh, they say, I want to be happy 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and that's the goal, right? Happiness, 100% happiness all the time. And that is a complete fantasy. It will never happen. And I'm not saying because, you know, I'm a cynic or I'm negative or anything like that. I'm saying it because by definition, it's impossible. It's a one-sided polarization of the emotion, 
Okay, happiness is the North Pole of a magnet and sadness is the South Pole and they go hand in hand. Now humans have two basic desires. One is certainty, so we want to feel certain in our situation, but then the second is uncertainty. So that's why we always strive to grow, continue to grow, to learn new things, to have different experiences and touch the unknown because once we get... Uh, you know, once we're so certain about something, we want to feel uncertainty, we want to chase the next thing. But whenever I meet someone or talk to someone who's got this idea that they want to be happy 100% of the time, they normally haven't put too much thought into it, okay? So if you had a happiness, 100% happiness all the time, you would then be craving sadness, you'd be craving for something to happen to give your life meaning and contrast, otherwise you wouldn't appreciate happiness, Okay, happiness wouldn't exist. There's a fictional story of a, of a gambler who died and he thought he'd gone to heaven. Okay, and he woke up in Vegas after he'd died and he had this penthouse suite surrounded by lots of beautiful Las Vegas models and they'd massage him and bring him grapes and top up his champagne and bring him anything he wanted. And then the first night in heaven, he gets dressed, takes a ton of cash out of his safe in his room. His entourage of models chaperone him down into the casino and he sits down at the blackjack table and starts playing. He gets 21, he plays again, he wins again, he wins again and again and again and he just keeps on winning and winning and winning. He gets 21 every single time and he's literally pulling in millions from the casino. He's having a great time. He takes his winnings up to the penthouse, he parties hard the next day, he wakes up and does it all again. And another casino, another blackjack table, he just keeps hitting 21 after 21. And then two weeks later, he's miserable. He's depressed. He's so used to winning that it's not exciting anymore. It's not happiness. When you keep getting the same thing over and over again, there's no contrast. There's no uncertainty. We need contrast. So the gambler goes to the angels and he says, this is ridiculous. You know, I keep winning every single hand. I've made all this money. I'm surrounded by bliss. This is heaven. Give me some challenge. And the angel turns around to him and says, no one says this was heaven. And the point is, if you're one of the people that think happiness is the end game, just understand that you need contrast to give it color. Without sadness and challenge, you don't have happiness and support. If you, Some of you might have seen the film Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. And he takes on the role of God. And it's a really, really funny film. But he basically answers everyone's prayers and gives everyone what they want to make them happy. And the world turns into massive chaos and upheaval. And then when the real God in the film, Morgan Freeman, comes back and he says, what the hell did you do? And Jim Carrey says, I just gave everyone what they wanted. And Morgan Freeman says a, a really profound line. He says, since when does anyone really know what they want? People don't know what they want. And without contrast, you can't have, you can't appreciate both sides. Like without, if, if it was just daytime all the time, you wouldn't appreciate the day. You wouldn't appreciate the day because there would be nothing to contrast the sun to or the clouds or the blue sky. And it's the same with anything in life. And the truth is when we get too comfortable, we want more. We take courses, we learn a new skill, we climb a mountain, do a parachute jump. And there's simply no end to the cause. That's what this podcast is really all about, being always free. Happiness is choosing to do different things that provide us with both certainty and uncertainty. It's being able to navigate and choose how you navigate your way through life. It's the it's the cause, it's the it's the mission, it's the motive. That's what makes us happy. Choosing, the more aligned we can choose to be directing our way through that is going to be correlated to our happiness. There is no happy at the end of it. There's no end. There'll always be a bigger house or another car or another skill to learn or another course to take or, you know, another experience. And you never actually get to that point. So happiness is being present with yourself and being able to decide how you spend your time. But it doesn't mean that you always want to be filled with happy emotion. Just yesterday, I was watching uh, <laughs> I was watching my dog chase his towel. And he was running around in circles, chasing his own towel. And every now and then, he'd grab it with his teeth and succeed. And for a few small moments, his towel was in his mouth. He'd found happiness. But whilst the towel was in his mouth, 
He couldn't eat, he couldn't chase the ball, he couldn't run in the park, he couldn't sniff other dogs, right? It's a distraction. So he ends up letting it go, and then later on he'll come back to it again. But you, it's not sustainable. It's a distraction. And the same goes for human beings who have this fantasy of being happy all the time. They're chasing the tail, pursuing happiness, beating themselves up because they aren't 100% happy 100% of the time, when really they haven't thought about it in detail. But ultimately, it's really distracting them from their most inspired mission. It's distracting them from their purpose. They're wasting their time with other emotional distractions. And what we really want is to be going after fulfillment. I think that lack of fulfillment is what drives people to chase this dopamine fix of happiness, right? We can all agree that there is no shortage of strategies out there. There's no shortage of weight loss strategies, wealth strategies, get rich quick, right? Property strategies, and people kind of chase these strategies and the reason they don't they don't get results and they end up unhappy quote unquote is because they're living in a fantasy about what they're going after they're not although they're they want to be choosing how they direct themselves through the rock taking a particular strategy that isn't aligned with their values is not going to have the effect that they want they're never going to be happy because they're not happy on the journey Remember, a fantasy is an unrealistic expectation on yourself to live outside of your values and expect yourself to excel in an area that isn't important to you. And when you do that, you automatically induce inside of you negativity, anger, aggression, blame, betrayal, criticism, challenge, despair, depression. And the whole time you're on that journey, that is going to happen. One of the reasons I decided to start teaching trading and investing and doing this podcast and all the rest of it is because like the gambler in Vegas, you don't really get any fulfillment from looking at charts and pulling money out of thin air, right? So when you have a gift and you can help others, you get a much greater purpose and that's the happiness. You don't get happiness from sitting at the charts, looking at candlesticks, pulling out 100 grand, 200 grand, whatever it might be. It's not happiness. That's not happiness. But when you know what you're here to do and you know what you're dedicating your life to do and you're doing it, you don't care about being happy or sad. It's just a natural ebb and flow of life. So just to kind of summarize that, what is the key to happiness? Firstly, you have to just break fantasies, right? Put some thought into it and ask yourself, are you really fulfilled? Are you on a mission? The always free principles is really about you know, having one shot at this life and being free to take actions that align with your true values, being free to say no, being free to say yes, being free to question things, question everything, being free to fulfill the needs of you and your loved ones, being free to serve and receive, being free to spend your time how you want to spend it, to hang out with people you want to be around, to ditch people that you that no longer serve you and you don't longer serve them, right? Get up every day and spend it inspired. Be free to decide how you want to make a difference. Be free to solve problems for the world. Be free from society. Be free from restraint and be financially free and be free to design your life and be who you want to be. That is about being always free. Because if you're not free in the journey, you'll never be free and you'll be chasing happiness, which doesn't exist. So that's it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you got value from that. If you did, please share it around. I will be back next week for another episode of Always Free. Until then, have a great rest of your day and weekend, and I'll see you then. For news on all future events and updates, go to jasongreystone.com.